Hello folks, so here we are with um, a new visitor to the uh, saw shop. Uh, right now we're out in the garage and uh, this is, as you can see, a Husqvarna. And I don't know if you can tell just from this side what it is, but here's a close up of the label. It is a Husqvarna. 261 and this is almost a 262 XP uh, there are a, a few minor differences uh, in the cylinder uh, as far as I know I haven't checked for sure but as far as I know I think that this cylinder is an open port uh, whereas the 262 XP is a closed port and I went ahead and put a, a bar and chain on it. It's a uh, new Forester. Well, it's, it has been on a saw, so it has cut a little bit of wood, but it's a Forester Pro Series, uh, 24 inch uh, bar, um, husk bar and a small mount. And it has a uh, Dukes uh, full chisel, three eighths chain. Uh, 50 gauge and uh, it's done a little bit of cutting not much just uh, I tested out uh, on the uh, 257 that I converted to a 262 XP top end and uh, and that's it it hasn't really been run in like firewood or anything so it's still kind of it's pretty much out of the box uh, sharp um, I haven't I haven't touched the rakers I haven't um, done anything with uh, you know I haven't filed it at all um, and uh, <clears throat> and I I kind of I sprayed down the saw with some simple green and then, and then sprayed it off with the hose you know, I didn't bother using the uh, you know pressure washer or anything um, and you know it doesn't look doesn't look too bad. You know, it's not, uh, you know, it's not the cleanest saw in the world, um, you know, nor the most beautiful, um, but it comes with a chain break that works, which is extremely hard to find in, uh, the 254, the 254 XP, the 257, the 261, and the 262 XP. Uh, these are like gold, um, and uh, you know they're just really hard to find. And when you do find one that's in good condition, uh, they are really expensive. Um, and uh, the owner of this saw did. Uh, I haven't looked inside of the muffler yet, but they did a very small muffler mod. Let me bring it in here, see if you can see it right. Well, as far as I know, it's a small muffler mod. I don't know that this is um, stock. Uh, it's got a little gill right here in that front plate. Um, and uh, as far as I know, that is not stock, but... It might be. I've, I've never seen one of these before up close um, that is uh, original. And, uh, but, <clears throat> sorry, you know, I, I filled it up. I know it has spark and um, I filled it up with uh, non-ethanol fuel and running 40 to one with uh, Echo Red Armor. Uh, mix oil and let's uh, give this thing a try I know it fires um, but uh, but it hasn't really been run um, by me um, the uh, the owner uh, said that it runs but uh, but we'll we'll find out and uh, I'm gonna grab some Hearing protection, if I can remember where I put it, and uh, and then we'll get to firing this up. So let me go 
let me go find my earmuffs and then we'll get this thing started. Okay, here we go. started way quicker than I thought it would um, but it, uh, it runs it oils uh, I just shot a little bit of oil on the floor there and uh, but it oils and uh, I I don't know that I want to put it in that wood that I've been using for for almost a year now uh, in all my videos it's it's getting it's getting pretty rotten uh, and it's not frozen anymore, obviously. Uh, now it's springtime and, and a lot warmer out. Um, but, uh, so I'm, I don't know, I may run it in that, uh, just to give a little view of, of it cutting. Um, sounds like it needs a little bit of tuning, um, on the, the low and the high, probably. Um, but, uh, runs. I'm, I'm happy with that. I, you know, I wasn't sure. You know, I didn't. I haven't been into this thing at all, other than, than I changed the spark plug to um, an NGK spark plug. Uh, I took out the. It was some no-name brand spark plug. I don't know, but like a. I don't know if it was a, you know, some kind of a Chinese plug or whatever. I don't know, but I. There was no name on it, um, so I took that out and uh and i made sure that the fuel line was was okay connected to the carburetor and that's it and i i did um adjust the well i checked to see what the high and low were set at the low was at about one and a quarter turns and the high was at it was really open it was a little more than two and a half turns so I closed that up to just under a one turn um, and uh, and uh, you know we'll we'll fine-tune that when we get it in the wood um, and uh, you know it, the bar is a little bit front heavy on this um, but also that you know the tank the gas tank is not full the oil reservoir is not full um, but, uh, you know, I think this will run a 24-inch a bar, uh, and especially when I uh, port it and, uh, and do an additional muffler mod on it, or at least I'm going to open up the muffler and see what it looks like in there. Um, and uh, we'll get it, get it fixed up and get it running real good. Um, and uh, we'll see how it does. So thanks for watching and uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't and uh, there'll be more to come on this uh, Husqvarna 261 and we'll uh, en enjoy this as it goes. All right. Thank you very much.